this portion about anger management may sound as though this will be a psychological or perhaps psychiatric type of effect on uh, the treatment of the anger management. The truth, however, anger management is something which we all have to have with us on a daily basis and certainly <clears throat> know how to control the type of attitude that we have. What is anger management and why would it have anything to do with us today? Here's what happens typically in an office. A staff member will make a mistake, whatever it is, maybe not schedule an appointment on appropriate time, collect a copay, uh, but not the full amount, perhaps say something to the doctor but in an appropriate manner, perhaps even discuss an issue with a patient but uh, the issue is not resolved properly. Whatever the case may be, the doctor or the staff member or someone in your office gets upset. This anger that you're purporting, this anger that you're subjecting yourself to, will do a few things. Number one, cloud your thinking. Number two, disperse throughout the office a negative, enthusiastic emotion. Number three, at all time, make you for the rest of the day very tight into your own personality and constricted into your thinking. Let's talk about number one. Number one, as we said, will actually cloud your thinking. What does the clouding have to do with anger? Well, when a person is angry, they lose touch with reality. They're not too sure exactly where they are anymore, and then the emotions start taking over. You start speaking about things that you're not comfortable with, but yet now you're boiling up inside, and you just come up with all these issues, and then you start talking about some of the things that happened in the past, and then you start mixing on things that happened in, in, the, uh, in the present, and then everything looks like a big ball of fire. You're clouded your own issue. When in reality, if you had looked at this process and thought about it for a moment, it could have been dealt with in a very calm, directional, and certainly kind way to resolve it. The second thing that we said that it does, actually, is it purports throughout the office a negative attitude. And it's true. When the director or a staff member or someone is angry, there's this negative karma, this negative atmosphere that reigns throughout the office. Everybody's somewhat afraid. People are somewhat disturbed. People are working on eggshells, they say. There's a saying that says, if there's anger in the room, there is no light. It's a truth saying. The truth about it is that anger can be managed and should be dispersed. Last but not least, it will take over the office and create within your own self a sense of misdirection for the rest of the day. Here's my suggestion. Next time something happens in the office, and this is good for the staff, for the doctor, for the director, for every one of you in the office. Next time something happens in the office, and it is a negative effect, it is something which is not right, be it something which is inadvertent or planned, whatever the case may be, and you feel the anger coming up because you feel as though you've been either humiliated or tricked or somehow wronged. Whatever the case may be, and you feel this anger feeling, do this test. Take your tongue and rotate it seven times in your mouth. And while you're doing that, think about the words that you should be saying. Now, you can rotate your tongue in your mouth, or you can just count till seven seconds. And those seven seconds are going to do miracles for you. They're going to help you refocus and decide, is this the right approach? If you can't wait for the seven seconds and you feel you're the type of person that's going to blurt out, just walk away. Just walk away. Go to another room, think it through, and write it down. What is it that just happened and what is it that you're trying to accomplish? And know that the people that you're speaking with are also human beings. Know that the people that you're talking to could be family members. If this was your spouse, would you speak with them this way? If this was your child, would you speak with them this way? If this was a loved one, would you speak with them this way? Truth of the matter is, we wouldn't. We often interact with people in a different way depending on the relationship that we have with them. That is the wrong thing to do. A person should be calmed 
should have a demeanor of respect and should constantly keep a professional decorum. It's not always easy. And I speak for myself as well because at any time someone feels that they have been slighted or vexed, then they feel that they should respond. But anger is not the solution. Anger is not an answer. Anger is never the right way, ever, 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 to respond. Kindness, compassion, patience, and certainly the right attitude will change the system. Eventually things will get better. By showing your anger, you haven't conquered anything. As a matter of fact, there's a saying that says, if you control your anger, you're mightier than someone that has conquered a city. It's amazing. Because if you conquer a city, all you have to do is basically surround it, take over all of the people's power, and now the city is yours. That's what it takes. That's how strategic wars are being won. However, to conquer within yourself this anger, it is so difficult. I implore with you that this is one of the things that we need to work on. This is one of the processes of the emotions that you need to control. And I can promise you and guarantee you that by controlling your anger and watching the direction of your purpose in life and certainly the purpose of a professional in your office, you will have a much better day, a greater atmosphere and certainly an enthusiastic attitude which will, will spreading light and spreading goodness and kindness through each and every one of you. I hope you have a great day. Now let's go make it happen.